Hello everyone. My name is Abhishek and welcome back to my channel. Last couple of days, I spent good amount of time researching about the DevOps job market. Not just about the DevOps job market, but also trying to understand which DevOps technologies are trending across different geographies. For example, which cloud platform in the US is offering more number of opportunities or for example just trying to understand which cloud platform should freshers in australia should look for or maybe which devops technology is something that everyone in india should learn so these are some of the questions even i keep getting in the comment section people ask me abhishek uh, how is the devops market what should i learn in devops what are the things that I should definitely know? So I've taken all these questions into consideration. I try to do some analysis using platforms like LinkedIn, Google Trends, and some other platforms that are available out there. In this video, please try to watch it till the end. Either you might have your answer about which cloud platform or which technology, or you might get some understanding on how you should do your research in getting the right things in place, making a structure for your learning. So this will anyways help and I will try to explain as much as possible. There are so many platforms that are available these days. There are some cool AI tools as well that can help you with understanding the trend. But trust me, nothing better than LinkedIn. Because LinkedIn has so much of data and most importantly, most of this data is accurate. Because either this information is posted by the recruiters or it is posted by some third parties that you can trust. Let's take an example. Let's say there is a person called Rob. Rob has maybe five years of experience located in United States looking for a DevOps job role. And Rob wants to understand which cloud platform he should be focusing on for learning. So what I will do if I am Rob, the best thing to do is go to LinkedIn, search for DevOps engineer, select the region as United States. So I'm doing this in the uh, job section in LinkedIn. You have a job section. Select the experience level, mid senior level. There are some 2K searches which is more than enough for you to perform your analysis. Maybe if you spend two to three hours, you will get the information accurately what you are looking for. Let's start with Tesla. It's okay. You can also target service based companies, product based companies, but I'm trying to understand now in general. So Tesla, let's see what is a cloud platform that they prefer. Some companies might not prefer uh, the cloud platform. They might they might be okay with any cloud platform or they are on on premises. So, okay, Tesla does not mention about any cloud platform. So you can uh, simply move on. Let's search for maybe Oracle. I'm randomly searching even I'm not sure which companies that I'm picking. So here the cloud platform that they are looking for is OCI which is uh, Oracle has their own cloud platform. So that's fine. Let's search for this one Scout Motors. Let's see what cloud platform are they looking for. So they are on EKS. That means they are looking for AWS. Okay, we got one. Let's move to the next one. Addison Group. Did they mention anything? AWS. Okay, let's go to EPAM systems. EPAM systems. Uh, let's see which cloud platform. Are, okay, even they are interested in AWS. Let's go to the next one Zscaler. Uh, in Zscaler. See, I don't have any filters with respect to cloud platforms. So, whatever I'm looking for. Okay, AWS is preferred. I think. Quite clearly, AWS 
is the winner in the US region. I just searched for four companies and four of them are looking for AWS. See, this is how you try to understand. Now, uh, let's change the region. Of course, I've done all this analysis. I spent almost like five to six hours. I took more than 300, 400 companies into consideration. I have all the data. I'll try to explain towards the end. But here I'm just trying to show you. Uh, let's go for maybe United Kingdom. See, this is how even you can perform the search. You can perform it at your state level as well, if you are interested. Okay, there is this company called uh, GSS, Global Screening Services. And here they are looking for AWS. Let's go for Capgemini in London. Let's see what are they looking for. Uh, they don't have anything as such. Or... Okay, I don't find any mention of the cloud platform. Let's move to the next one. Uh, BBC. One point five monitoring system, software development lifecycle. Okay, experience in AWS. Let's pick up the next one. DXC. Even here, proven practical experience and knowledge on AWS. Okay, let's pick up the next one. So AWS is doing quite well in terms of opportunities, design and build solutions on AWS. So all that I've picked till now, they are good with AWS. I think there was one for Azure. Even this one, uh, experience on AWS, optimizing AWS costs. So even in United Kingdom, if you are in United Kingdom, lot of opportunities for AWS. Let's see for Australia. In India, uh, I think many of you are already aware. Uh, AWS, if you are in India, that's the best thing that you can start with. Okay, Melbourne, Australia. Uh, Accenture is the company name. Let's see. Okay, here comes Azure DevOps. Australia, one for Azure DevOps. Robert Walters, I'm sorry if I pronounce the company name wrong. Mm -hmm. Okay, one for AWS, one for Azure. Let's go to this one. I don't know what they're looking for. AWS expert. Let's see this one, base systems. We have some opportunities for Azure as well in Australia. Hydrogen group, AWS, this one, two applicants also. Okay, Azure. I know in Australia, Azure is Azure is doing quite good. There are a lot of, lot of opportunities. My bad. AWS, Capgemini, Azure. So if you are in Australia, you have mixed opportunities, both AWS and Azure are doing good. So if you have Azure skill and if you're in Australia, good, you have some opportunities. Again, one more for Azure. So quite good. So in the Australia region, you can either go with Azure or you can go with AWS. Both of them are good. United Kingdoms, we saw United States. Now let's see. How are the opportunities like if you were searching for mid senior level, there are more than 2k uh, postings. Let's change this and let's see entry level. How are the entry level? See in Australia, there are only 28 in LinkedIn opportunities at the entry level. That means if you are a DevOps engineer in the Australia region, probably DevOps is something that is not doing good currently. Or there are very less number of opportunities. Let's see, uh, let's change this to India. Let's see how many search results do we see if you are in India. So if you're in India, there are 241 search results. 
for freshers at the entry level so okay it is kind of good but not again the best when you compare it with the experience level let's change this to associate and entry level then you have more number of opportunities that means if you are looking for zero to one year experience then it is good you can also change this to internship so you don't have to trust anyone you can do your research you might consult a lot of people you don't get your answer you can use linkedin and other thing is you can also go with google trends lot of times people ask me uh, abhishek how is devops doing when compared to let's say data engineering just search for both the terms devops data engineer right so just search for devops and data engineering and you can search for a particular region let's say you want to search in let's keep it as india so there are more number of people that are searching for devops compared to data engineering here is the graph that means more number of people are learning devops more number of people are interested in devops and there are more opportunities for devops of course you cannot calculate exactly about the number of opportunities from this particular graph but because i have also compared linkedin and other platforms looks like devops has little more edge when compared to data engineering and you can also see what people are searching for in terms of uh, devops engineering and you can also get the geographical representation in which state which particular search result is doing good you might ask me but abhishek this is just a search term but why would people search for a specific thing more like if you change the search result with java you will see a huge graph for java right devops compared to java java is doing extremely good so why is this it's not only because people are searching for it it is also because there is lot of content that is posted about java compared to devops there are many opportunities so that's why people are searching for that particular thing so if you are in a particular region and if you are confused about devops or sre or if you are confused about devops or data engineering again you don't have to trust anyone you can just go to the google trends you can also search in linkedin which is a very good platform i would highly recommend doing your research and analysis on the linkedin next thing let's say that okay you are a devops engineer located in india and you want to understand what are some four to five tools that you should definitely know so again what you will do here you have to spend some time and you have to do it very wisely take some you know just change this to let's say mid level take a uh, notepad or something and just write down the names what are the devops tools and technologies right you have kubernetes you have docker you have um, git linux there is ansible terraform so just write down the things you can also take an excel sheet which is something that i have exactly done and like i told you towards the end i'll share that information so just take that and try to note down you can take some 20 25 companies you don't have to do more than that there are more than 1300 search results but it's okay you can simply uh, take a list of 20 companies and see just tick the uh, tool that you see here kubernetes there is uh, ci cd there is argo cd there are bunch of tools that are noted here right again if you go to the next company you will see kubernetes you will see uh, ci cd so with two companies also i understood that okay both of them are looking for kubernetes and ci cd this is lead devops engineer again they are looking for kubernetes uh, they are looking for terraform okay let's go to the next one so again we have kubernetes here there is bunch of things related to aws so if you try to spend time this way 
you will realize that every company is asking for Kubernetes. Every company is asking for CI CD. Every company is asking for AWS. That means these becomes your top three tools. You should definitely know AWS. You should definitely know Kubernetes. You should definitely know CI CD. And you know that if you have an interview, these are the topics that you should definitely focus on. Of course, job description plays a very critical role, but I'm talking about one week or 10 days before interview. You need to master these things. Last couple of days, two to three days before, focus only on the job description. So this is how I spent so much time on LinkedIn. I spent on uh, Google Trends and some other AI tools. And in short, I will also be doing a live session next Monday. We will talk in depth about these trends. You can al also ask me a question in the chat section and it will be fun where you ask me a question about a region and you ask me about something and I use Google Trends and LinkedIn and search for that particular thing. But in a nutshell, from my analysis, what I observed is AWS is the cloud platform that has a lot of opportunities wherever you are. Specifically, if you are in Australia, you are in some Europe regions like uh, Finland, or you are in some Europe regions like Ireland, Netherlands, Germany. In those places, Azure is doing good. But again, AWS has a lot of job opportunities. So if you want only one cloud platform, go with AWS. Then some DevOps tools that you should definitely know. Kubernetes, CI CD, cloud platform, preferably AWS or Azure. And basic Git and Linux skills. Of course, there is a end to end zero to hero roadmap on the channel. If you want to learn DevOps right from the scratch, from the fundamentals and you want to master it, our zero to hero playlist definitely will help you to get a job. But you want to master some things. It should be Kubernetes, AWS cloud platform or Azure cloud platform. And you have to have knowledge on continuous integration and continuous delivery. Rest all things like monitoring, things like uh, advanced uh, stuff, they come uh, secondary, but these are the primary skills that you want to have. Then the next one that I want to mention is about experience versus fresher. There are a lot of opportunities for experience, especially in India. There are good opportunities in the US region as well. I see that growing in the US. Couple of months back, it was not that well, but now in US, the number of opportunities are increasing. Freshers in India, that is still fine. You have opportunities. If you are in your third year of BTEC or if you're in your uh, maybe fourth year of your BTEC, I see that trend going high. So maybe by the time you complete your graduation, you might have good opportunity. The reason is that freshers have less opportunities in any stream at this point of time. So it's not about DevOps. If you go to LinkedIn and search for data engineering and change the filter to fresher or even Java and fresher, you will see very less count. For example, Java. Usually, uh, if you were talking about three to four years back. This particular thing. Entry level Java, you should see a lot of opportunities. Literally, this number is a very small number. If you were uh, looking at this a year back or two years back at this point of time. The number is quite insignificant when compared to previous. So that is because a lot of freshers from 2023 2024. They have been searching for opportunities and unfortunately the market is not doing well uh, because of all that global recession and people are not looking at hiring freshers. That is very unfortunate. But things are getting better. So this is what I wanted to share. And like I told you, Monday live session is going to be very interesting. Definitely try to attend. I will pick up your questions from the comment section. And let's try to do that research live. And yeah, it's going to be crazy. Thank you so much for watching today's video. See you all in the next one. Take care.